Thanks for watching. Today we're taking another look at the Losi Polare. I've had really thought that people would figure this out way easier than they have so far. So this is uh, my version of the Losi Hammer Ray with a ton of parts from an Arma fire team. And well, I think quite a lot of people have actually caught on to it if I look at uh, the comment section. But some people haven't. So uh, this is just to stop people bugging uh, Horizon Hobbies and to stop you bugging your hobby store or to stop you saving your money for this to come out because chances of this coming out in the coming week are slim to none. Um, how did this come to be? Well, I just wanted to have a tiny bit of fun. I hope that uh, you have also perceived it as such. And my main intention with this was to inspire people to go build your own stuff with parts that yeah, you have perhaps laying around or parts that you can easily get your hands on. For example, this Arma Fire Team, I think this is a highly underrated body and cage combination. The minute this came out, I immediately saw the resemblance with a Polaris Razor. I felt myself inspired, so uh, I figured that at some point I will reuse that body and cage for something else. So that's what uh, this is. Um, well, the same with this uh, hammer ray. Not everybody digs the look of it, but I think that uh, the chassis and everything underneath as well is so incredibly versatile that it is pretty easy to put these two together and make this. That's also when I figured, you know what? I'm not going to say anything on my uh, Instagram, so I'm just going to keep quiet. I'm just going to build this thing in silence. Hopefully, at some point, I will be able to fake a launch uh, of sorts or uh, fake leaked pictures. And uh, in that, creating like a tiny bit of buzz until people see the whole thing and they go like, Oh, we see what you did but without like immediately giving it away. So I just uh, sat here in this shed. I have shot a couple of videos of me building it as well. So you will see those in the coming weeks. Uh, I've just sat here in my shed, making this thing uh, happen, figuring everything out with cardboard, with paper, uh, eventually with my CNC machine, figuring out a paint scheme that could perhaps look factory. Again, this is just painted the way I always do it. Uh, rattle cans and uh, tape. Nothing complicated, and then there's a minimal amount of uh, machined parts. So we did make some uh, new door cards, made some uh, braces here, some chassis adapters, and I hacked a tiny bit of the cage up in the back. Uh, but apart from that, this is nothing complicated. That's also why I thought that I would immediately get called out once I released the unboxing yesterday. Anyway, fast forward to last Tuesday. I needed to post a picture, or I figured it would be fun for me to post a picture that was a bit non-descriptive, so I took like a close-up of the back, put a date on it, because I knew that I wanted to drop the video on Friday, uh, put a date on it, and then uh, release that as like a spy picture that I found somewhere. I checked uh, Tony CCXRC's live stream that evening, and I saw this. See the sneak? by Losi? Yes, I actually have it queued up here. I saw Hemistorm posted it. I think they posted it to um, Drive Nation. RC Nation Drive. People had asked me where did I find those uh, pictures and I didn't know what to tell them. And Tony had said in his live stream, yeah, I think I've seen them on RC Nation, which was for me incredibly helpful. So I was like, you know what, the next time somebody asks, because I knew that I wanted to drop one more hint, I figured the next time somebody asks, I will just say like, yeah, I found those pictures on the RC Nation. Uh, so the next day as well, I drop like a hint, check in on uh, the live stream takeover from uh, Matt at the Scale Builders Guild and uh, Josh at uh, Harley Designs. They were discussing it. Matt was really onto me. So he did mention like that it was a fire team. Uh, I think Josh was a tiny bit thrown off by all the panel work that I had put on here and uh, perhaps the brace. Uh, so for me, in that, you know, it was already mission accomplished. Um, if I'm honest, and I've seen just the pictures that I've seen on the internet, I haven't seen anything else, I don't know anything else about it, but if you look at that cage and then you look at the Arma Fire Team, I looked at that too. I thought it looked different. Like, I didn't think that it had the exact same tubes, although it looked very similar. looks very um, similar. But I, yeah, I, 
It could just be the same designer is the thing. Oh, yeah, that's that's true for sure. Uh, Anyway, fast forward to Friday. People had asked me as well, do you have the truck? Uh, Can we see a review of it? And I figured, you know what, the minute I release the video, it will immediately be clear that it's just uh, a little fun. It's a a bit of a joke. It's a custom build. And uh, hopefully people will uh, take it in good spirit. But uh, I dropped the video immediately after I went to see a movie. I went to see uh, Avatar 2. So I was not available for uh, three and a half hours. I come back and it is pure pandemonium. People have been uh, calling Horizon. Some people have, and that's really regretful. Some people have been pretty rude with Horizon. So please stop doing that because that's not cool. Um, Somebody had made a Facebook group, which I think is uh, really flattering. Um, Some stores had been posting that they would be getting these in stock within a really short time frame. So I can imagine that they have also been calling Horizon. And that's not been my intention. My intention has been just to inspire people to go repurpose some stuff, get creative, make your own cool stuff. I did, of course, wrap it into a video that is like masked up uh, as it being like an unboxing, but I figured there would be so many dead giveaways in how this body is shaped that I would get called out a lot uh, sooner and a lot faster than I actually have been. So this little video is just to explain. It's all been good fun. This is just a custom creation that I made over here in my studio and in my shed. And uh, I hope that it shows you that if you use a tiny bit of creativity and you use your your mind a tiny bit and you just put your mind to building something that you really, really want to have, that anything is possible. I hope this also perhaps has uh, inspired manufacturers because, as I've understood it, there's quite a demand for a vehicle like this, which uh, is really cool to see. I hope you had as much fun with this as I had. I also hope that you will read through the comments on the unboxing video. I have not misled anybody. I've also not misled anybody in uh, telling what it is because I have linked it to the hammer ray. So uh, I hope you will take it in good spirits and have as much fun with it as uh, I had. I also hope that I will see you in those uh, three videos in which I will explain you and walk you through the entire process so you will really see me scratch my head to figure out how to put this thing together and how to build it. And uh, I hope that you will find those videos fun to watch and that it perhaps will trigger a build of your own. Take care. Bye-bye. Back on.